Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lar, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here again with another video, man. Look, man, we about to react to Patriots Global, bro. You already know what time it is, man. Shout out to Patriots Global, man, because I am a huge Patriots fan, bro. So I'm always into, you know, what he's talking about, about my Patriots, bro, about these Patriots, bro. Look, man, we about to talk about why the Patriots dropped it fucking to kill Harry, bro. Like, come on, man. This dude haven't did shit, bro, for us, man. Cam Newton throws the ball to him. He don't do nothing, bro. But when Cam Newton get into an interview, Cam Newton's like, bro, he's good, man. He's a dog. But it's probably because Cam Newton just said it because that's his teammate. I don't know, bro. They said, bro, they said Nikhil Harry was really like that in college, bro. This man was, like, breaking records and <clears throat> doing all types of crazy shit, bro. So I don't know, bro. Hopefully Patriots Global, um, you know, Talks about it way better than me, you know. But anyways, man, make sure you comment, subscribe, and let's just get into the reaction, man. I, I got to see what's going on. Why the hell did they drop this man, bro? With another, another video, video and... And this one, I want to talk a little bit about why the Patriots actually ended up drafting Nikhil Harry. We got some news about Bill Belichick and, you know, kind of Robert Kraft, how they're kind of okay. changing up their draft process, how they go about things, how Belichick has kind of been over the last few years and even his drafting career. And details have just come out, which have given a good amount of perspective on why somebody like Nikhil Harry was taken. Of course, they did select him at the end of the draft in, I believe, 2018 with okay. the 32nd overall pick. So last pick in the first round. Uh, but a lot of people... And he got this man in the first round, bro. He haven't did shit. He haven't did shit. Bro, first round, three... about to lose it bro the 32 32 pick bro he went in the first round bro and this motherfucker haven't did shit yet man like come on bro like bro he haven't did shit bro asking yo belichick you know why not dk metcalf why not aj why why, why we didn't get dk metcalf oh my god bro if we would have got dk metcalf or aj brown or Justin, oh my gosh, bro. I don't know why you got this. Bro, this dude is ass, bro. I can lock him up and I don't even play football anymore. Man. Brown. Brown. And it was even reported that Patriot Scouts had those guys higher than Nikhil Harry. In fact, if I remember correctly, Nikhil Harry was the second wide receiver taken in the 2018 draft with just Hollywood Brown being bro, taken first by the Ravens. We could have got But for those who missed it, last week, Belichick had spoken to the media, or not Bell, Belichick, uh, but last week, Robert Kraft spoke to the media, which was very interesting as we don't see this too much, but he said that he has seen a different approach from the Patriots regarding the draft process. Okay. And Albert Breer spoke about this in his article. Now, of course, in the past, we haven't really seen too much from... You know, Belichick and, and rumors when it comes to the draft process. Belichick is a very, very closed off guy when it comes to the draft. Okay. And it was even reported that he has a very, very tight inner circle when it comes to the draft. You know, Belichick doesn't really trust, it seems like, too many guys when it comes to this process. It's just him and maybe one or two other guys that he essentially really listens to. Damn. But at the end of the day, it really just comes back to himself. Well, well that was a, of Belichick was a bad pick. having such a tight circle and, and that was just a damn bad pick, bro. Kind of just trusting himself rather than other people. A lot of personnel within the Patriots organization kind of felt like they were left out, like they weren't needed, which is very understandable. Maybe that's part of why Nick Casario wanted out of New England so bad. Yeah. So essentially what would happen would be that the scouts the Patriots have, you know, the guys who during the Patriots' regular season, playoffs, you know, Super Bowl, when Belichick is just focused on the Patriots' actual season, playing actual NFL football, these scouts are going out, they're doing their job, they're watching these college games, they're traveling to get insight on the draft and, you know, potential future Patriots. But as soon as the Patriots' season ended, the scouts' jobs was done. You know, usually with any other team, the scout's job never stops. Okay. It's every single day, 365 days a year, you're getting ready for this draft. As soon as, you know, the draft's done, maybe you take a tiny break, but for the most part, you're on to next year's draft. 
But All when right. the Patriots season would end, the scouts were done. That's when Belichick took over. All right. And that in itself, when I, you know, I love Belichick. I trust Belichick. He I is a too. genius. He's a mastermind. Greatest coach of all time. Don't get me wrong. He is. But you got to trust your scouts. You know what I'm saying? When you're focused for. Bro, just imagine if Nikhil Harris is raw, bro. Just look at that duo, bro. Look at Kim. Big ass, bro. Bro, and Nikhil Harris, bro. Nikhil Harris is big, bro. Like, he can go up for the ball, bro. It just This dude hasn't did anything, man. Like, it just doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, Junior Edelman had to do, mo- you know, majority of, you know, um, like, Junior Edelman had to make damn near all the damn plays, bro. Like, he had to really go off against Seattle, bro. And kill Harry didn't really do shit, man. You know, the, the whole year, essentially, on your team, on NFL football. And then once that ends, you expect in a couple of months to, to kind of gather everything by yourself and the, and the information and kind of make your own decisions. It's like, you know, what are you, what are you doing? You got you to gotta trust these guys because they're doing this for months and months while you are still, you know, focusing on your NFL season with the Pats. Okay. Now, not only would it be handed off to Belichick, but it would also be handed off to, again, that very, very small and tight inner circle he has. Who exactly that inner circle is, it wasn't really reported, but it was very specified that it was very small and that the scout scout jobs would be be done done as soon as soon as as the Patriots season would end. So we don't know. It's also worth noting that most NFL teams, you know, the majority of these NFL teams have consistent meetings with their scouts between the times of February and April. But New England has their meetings between the times of December and February. Okay. Obviously, that... It's a little weird, a little shocking. It because is. That's so early. You know, you're ending in February when you still have March and April when you're, you know, the combine and you're hearing more about these players. And that was actually frustrating a lot of these scouts that the Patriots had. Very understandable. I mean, again, keep in mind how much stuff happens, how much news we've heard about, you know, these these drafting players or these players entering the draft you know, from the times of March to April. Draft boards change tremendously from the times of the start of the the college season to the end of the college season, from February to to March to April, from December to, to March to April. So it's hard to set your draft board when you're kind of having these meetings so early on in the process. And this is where it gets to Nikhil Harry. Now, Barry noted that in recent memory, when it came to somebody like Nikhil Harry, most scouts of the Patriots actually preferred A.J. Brown and Debo Samuel over Nikhil Harry. Oh, my gosh. But why didn't we get him? Belichick stunk or stuck, rather, to his own draft methods and didn't bro, listen. why the hell didn't we get A.J. Brown, bro? If we would have had A.J. Brown, bro, we would have been shitting on the Seattle Seahawks right now, bro. We would have been shitting on the Ravens right now, bro. We would have been shitting on the Bills right now, bro. Like, A.J., bro, a lot of a lot of people can't stay with A.J. Brown. Bro, we would have had D.K. Metcalf. Listen to the advice of the scouts, the guys that, again, are doing their work throughout the year while Belichick is doing his job with the Pats. Breer added that the, uh, not the Patriots, but Breer added that Nikhil Harry killed his pre-draft visit with the Patriots. And pre-draft visits are a little different than they are back then compared to what they are now because right now they're virtual. But back then you only had a certain amount of pre-draft visits. The Patriots used one of them on Nikhil Harry. He came down to Boston, was in Gillette Stadium for a little bit for that visit. Okay. And because of that, it led to him being drafted. Damn. So because of that pre-draft visit and him doing so well with the Patriots, not necessarily on an athletic standpoint or a talent standpoint, but just as his personality standpoint, because with these pre-draft visits, it's really you sitting down with the team and talking and connecting and having these discussions. That's what Belichick took from Nikhil Harry, who he was as a person and not his talent and what he could bring to the team. Damn, Belichick, It's damn. also worth noting that Bill Belichick has a really good relationship with then ASU head coach in Todd Graham. And of course, Harry was the pick. 
So essentially, why New England chose to go with Nikhil Harry over a DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel, AJ Brown was because of Bill Belichick, my friends. It wasn't because the Patriots scouts weren't doing their jobs. That's it crazy. was not because the the department and the personnel the Patriots have within Fucking scouting Belichick, these players bro. was so bad. It was because Belichick was not listening to them. You know, Belichick stepped in once the Patriots season was done for the for, for the few months that they had, you know, until the the draft happened. That's crazy. Kind of met bro. with the players at the end of, you know, this this process and really based them off of their personality, who they were, how they kind of were going to fit the system from, again, the personality standpoint. He didn't look too much as a system fit. He tripped and it, man. kind of just from a, from a point of, look how talented you are. And that was the thing with Bill Belichick and the Patriots that so many times, I think, gets us all upset is that you'll have these high-name draft guys still on the board, and the Patriots will get a guy who's supposed to go two rounds later that nobody knows the name of from the smallest college you could possibly understand. And then, of course, that player ends up not doing well. And then a player that was on the board they could have selected does tremendously. You know, sometimes face value is important. They're face value for a reason. Damn I mean, the Patriots did this, for example, just a couple of years ago when they selected Duke Dawson in the second round. I mean, I think it was pretty clear that Debo Samuel was a much better fit with the Pats. Hell AJ yeah, Brown, man. a much, much better fit with the Patriots. I could have told you that was a better system fit. But that's because me personally, I looked at it from how they play on the field. Who they are from a talent and football standpoint, For real. not from a personality standpoint. Yeah, and you know what, we kill Harry Belichick got that right. If Belichick was drafting guys for personality, he hit the nail on the head with Nikhil Harry because Nikhil Harry as a person is tremendous. His work ethic, tremendous. A guy in the locker room, tremendous. Okay. He does everything he is asked to do, does not complain. But, of course, that doesn't exactly help you on the football field. Hell no. Now, I want to end this video by telling you guys that we have the ability to now look from a more positive direction because Breer did report that Bill Belichick's inner circle has opened up tremendously and he's being much, much more collaborative this year, especially compared to years prior. Thank so it you. sounds like Belichick's going to trust these guys and he's Thank going you. to listen to more opinions than just himself. Thank you. Now, in addition to, to, to that, um, you know, guys like usual that usually help out, Dave Ziegler, Elliot Wolf, you know, Nick Casero from the past, scouts like that are now a much larger um, priority and a much larger yeah. member within the Patriots operations. In fact, I do believe the Patriots this offseason fired one of their scouts and then they brought somebody new in. Yeah, now, we're that. just going to have to see if this works, but we do know that Belichick's draft history has not been great. Not been great at all. Yeah, and I Kraft, see that. Kraft himself even vocally said that about Belichick, and Kraft never does that about Belichick, so that is saying something. And I think now that we have seen kind of the, the failed opportunities the Patriots have had in the past, Belichick's sitting back like, you know what? I don't have Brady anymore. I want to succeed. Hey, I no. need to do a better job. So I'm hoping that the Patriots will look more into talent aspect on the field and so. what a guy brings and not just his personality. Personality is still a huge, huge thing that you want to consider. You don't want to get a guy who's going to be a big issue off the field and isn't going to help in the locker room. But at the end, you don't want to value who a player is off the field yeah. over how he's going to be for a player and his, sta and his talent point on the field. True. So, you know, I, again, I just do hope that Sir. maybe we see a little bit more face value selections from the Patriots going forward, especially in these Damn, higher man. rounds. Before we end this video, though, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline. Shoot, man. I'm not going to lie, bro. I hope Nikhil Harry um, steps up and does better, man, because he got to go if he don't start snapping. But anyways, man, make sure you comment and subscribe. I love you guys. Roll the team. Not roll the team, K. Roll the 5K. I will see you guys in the next video.